do it. I'm not a masochist. I'm not crazy. I'm not this and that. People try to title me and label me. When I was growing up, I saw my mom getting beat and I got beat. And I was some stuttering little black kid in all white school. And I used to go home and cry. I'm like, my God, man, I'm fucked up. I'm so fucked up. So I had to train one fucking thing. You better train your fucking mind. Because my talents can run out way early. When shit got hard for me back in the day, bro, I'm done. I'm out. See ya. Okay. I got to invent a motherfucker that can. So I invented Goggins. I invented a motherfucker that realized we're not good enough. But Goggins realizes we're mentally strong as and we're going to outstrength these motherfuckers in the mind. You need to f***ing work harder. You need to f***ing discipline your mind better. We need to help people more than just saying it's okay. It's okay that you're not willing to f***ing help yourself out. That's not okay. It's not okay. It's not acceptable. I came with this thing called Perform Without Purpose. And so many people, they need to have a 5K, a 10K. I need to have a, 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 a course in front of me. I need to have something in front of me for me to get my f***ing ass up and do some shit. And that used to be me. And nowadays, you know, shit for the past 20 some years, I don't need f***ing purpose. And people miss out on this, man. The purpose, we're all looking for this golden purpose. Is it this? Is it that? Is it making money? It, is, it, is it my family? Mother, the purpose is you. We forget that. Every f***ing day I wake up and I don't want to do some f***ing shit, I'm like, okay, man, do you want to be a bitch today? Do you want to feel like a little bitch? Do you want to walk around all day knowing that you could, but you didn't? So it's perform without purpose. You have to learn how to get up and do shit when you ain't got no f***ing 5K, no 10K, nothing. Nothing exists. Your life f***ing sucks. You're in the f***ing dungeon. But guess what, mother I'm still going to get it. Because when that time comes, because the time is going to come, when that purpose is there, you'll be ready. But most of us are not ready because we don't know how to do without having the golden carrot in front of us. And so you're all Every step you take in that journey as you're like, for me, run. I run every day. I hate it. But every step I take, I'm like, all right, motherfucker, you're beating the demon again. I made a decision. And my decision was to be the best person I could. And I basically, a lot of mornings I wake up and say, F your feelings. And that doesn't mean like, you know, don't take it literally, F your feelings. But sometimes you have to go beyond what you're feeling. And my knees were fucked, but guess what? I wanted to run. And I knew that, okay, you can get knee replacements, this and that. It wasn't because of I ran too much. People always want to say, oh man, you ran so much so you fucked up your body. You know, you don't want to be like David Goggins. I hear it all the time. You don't want to be like David Goggins. I gave everything. I gave everything to who I am. I gave everything. And when you give everything, man, you have no regret. People didn't understand me. People don't understand me now. I don't give a f I know exactly what I was doing. I'm not a masochist. I'm not crazy. I'm not this and that. People try to title me and label me. No, I had something to f***ing do. The way I describe it to people when people ask me, like, why does he do all these things? Like, what is, what is the motivation here? I go, he's on a mental journey that very few people have ever been on. Because people don't understand you, they, or they misunderstand you, or they purposely misinterpret the way you're living your life. You're trying to understand your mind in a way that very few human beings ever get to understand their mind. Because you're taking your mind into these terrible dark places all the time and you're trying to pull things out of that you're trying to learn things about yourself and about your potential from that that's exactly it and that's what people don't understand i study the darkness you you, you find no answers in the light none it's too happy it's too nice we don't need to be taught how to live in happiness we that, that just comes naturally to us happy moments but the dark times man and you can't get there unless you put yourself there life will take you there but when you get into those dark moments that's what people that's why people how, how are you able man i couldn't read and write till i was a junior in high school how are you able to write like this man Motherfucker, i go to such places in my mind and i study the darkness like it's not just physical when I was growing up and I saw my mom getting beat and I got beat and I was some stuttering little black kid in all white school and I'm on stage and I got to say one line, one fucking line in front of fucking 15 people and I walk off stage kind of and stutter. All those insecurities and all those fucking things, man, I used to go home and fucking cry. I'm like, my God, man, I'm fucked up. I'm just all fucked up. I, I'm, I'm, hang on, man. As I got older, we got to study this shit, man. The only way we're going to fucking get through this is if we study it. So every time I'm in a dark moment and life's up around me, whether it be physical or just life, I get in it, man, with a pen and paper. 
I'm like, okay, this sucks. I can feel like I'm losing my shit, but let's study this. Let's come out of this mother genius. I studied the, the black matter of the mind, the dark matter, you know, like Stephen Hawking. That's, if that's his name, I said it right. <laughs> that motherfucker studied the space and shit. That's where I consider myself, man. And so many people get it wrong, I don't give a man. You can't, for me, I cannot help people. There's a, there's a lot of cookie cutter shit out here in this world. Oh, discipline, wake up early, take a cold shower, f this, f that, whatever. <laughs> it's all f***ing bullshit. It's not. But what they don't teach you within the cookie cutter is like our minds are like a f garage. And the garage, you, if you open a garage and it's all cluttered up, it's all f***ed up, you can't put your car in there. You got f boats and you got f kids' toys and shit everywhere. But if you organize that f garage and you put everything in its rightful spot, you can pull that car in there. You can put two cars in there. You can put bikes in there. And that's like with the mind. People talk about discipline and determination and repetitions and all this shit. Consistency. Why people fall off the wagon so often is because their mind is full of shit. There's no room in that mind for discipline. There's no room for consistency. They may do it once or twice, but then the mind takes over and that cluttered garage comes in and then it's like a circuit breaker man a circuit breaker just overloads and it sparks and our minds that's that's our mind man it's like a circuit breaker that has so much shit in it you keep on loading it you can't put any more into it so i've i talk about it in there man so much about clearing space in your mind so then you have room for all those discipline waking up early, taking those, because they, they, they do mean something. But we don't get to that dark matter that is keeping you from clearing out that mental garage. That's a good way to put it, because that is the mind of most people is filled with stuff that they have to move around oh to get to God. what they want. And it's constantly piling up and mm -hmm. there's shit unorganized and... Organized mind, man. You're looking at, fucking, I got to take care of the kids. The kids' schedule is all fucked up. My husband, my, my wife, I'm going by McDonald's to get this and I, I'm rushing my schedule. Everything's just... Fucking. I wish I was doing this, but I'm doing that. That's it. And that and this. And I want to raise, but I can't get one. That's it. My boss is an asshole. Where's greatness in that, man? Yeah. You can't, you, you can't fit discipline into that. You can't fit structure. You can't fit consistency. You can't fit the grind. And then when you try, it, it gets overrun by the clutter in your that mental garage. Every time I'm in a bad situation, like you know, I, I study it. And that's the only reason I do have the shit I do, is I'm studying this shit. Because I know that I never thought I was going to be writing books and trying to help people get better. But I was always trying to do it because I knew I sucked. And so when you know you're trying to get somewhere, you know you suck, you know that you, you believe that you're a born loser, you are taking snapshots, man. Like, you know, you, you see something on your phone, like, oh man, I'm going to take a fucking snapshot of that or I'm gonna, how you do the little picture shit so you can save it on your phone. I do that in my mind. So when I get in these moments, where I'm like, fucking, okay, wow, that's some good knowledge right there, man. I snapshot it because I know that I can use that later. I can use this because I'm not out there just, I'm not, most people, they go out and they run and they go out and they do, and they're like, oh, this is beautiful. Look at the fucking mountains and the shit and all this bullshit. No, I don't like it. My body hurts. I'm hurting. How do we get through this? It's a lab. It's my mental lab. And so when I come home, I'm not forgetting it. Every day I get done running or every day I get through working, or every day I get through studying, whatever it is that brings me to that place of knowledge. So I come home from running and I write everything out. People have talent and this is going beyond your talent. When there's no more talent, what happens to you? Most people quit. People only go to their talent level. And once your talent level is gone, it becomes a mental game. That the whole mental game sets in then. And most people can only perform to their talent. And they realize, man, why am I always messing up right here? Why, why, why is this my big hurdle? It's because you're performing to your talent. And then after that, your mind has nothing for you. I see fighters, I see runners, I see people who they're great, but they get to the edge of their talent. And it's like, man, what, what's, what's up? Because you're now at the point now where your talent ain't gonna do shit for you, my friend. Now it's the mental game. And that's where people get lost in life, get lost in that next level. And that next level was found for me in the things that I do. First of all, I didn't have much talent. So I had to train one thing. You better train your mind because my talents can run out way early. When shit got hard for me back in the day, bro, I'm done, I'm out, see ya. Okay, I gotta invent a motherfucker that can. So I invented Goggins. I invented a motherfucker that, that, that realized 
we're not good enough. But Goggins realizes we're mentally strong as fuck and we're gonna outstrength these motherfuckers in the mind. And so many people just want it the easy way. It, I'm sorry, man, it's not. So what they start to do is they build this narrative of it's okay. When the narrative should be, you need to fucking work harder. You need to fucking discipline your mind better. We need to help people more than just saying it's okay. It's okay that you're not willing to help yourself out. That's not okay. It's not okay. It's not acceptable. Even though it's your life, if that's, if, if that's acceptable, that's unacceptable. And there's a lot of people in this world, me included, that if I accepted that, I wouldn't be anywhere. So yeah, it's, a lot of people just, they, they start creating a narrative about themselves that make it okay. The ultimate get out of jail free card. And now the world is set up to have so many get out of jail free cards. Everything is okay. And you can't say a mother thing about it. Man, man, why are you always yelling? I just you. This is how I talk, bitch. Cause I'm proud, mother. You know what I'm saying? I'm a proud mother, man. Yeah. And it's not proud, like, look at me. It's like, mother, I know where I came from, bitch. I shouldn't be here right now talking to you. Shouldn't be talking to you, mother. I shouldn't be here. I'm just a fat, sloppy mother. I'm proud. So I'm able to tell you, I was up. Many people can't. It's not even real. All those mornings that you didn't want to get up, and, and I look at it as like a like a rock, and you find this rock, and that rock is you. And every day you fight not wanting to get up, and you do anyway. You chip another piece off that rock, and every day you eat the right foods, and every day you go to train, you train harder and harder and harder and harder, and you get up earlier, and all these things you do to start forming yourself. You're chipping another piece of that rock up. Before you know it, you have this beautiful piece of, of artwork that, that you built. And then once you get there, you see it, and it becomes real. Like, oh my God, I did this shit. And so like the, the, the journey becomes so real then, but so many people aren't willing to chip away at that stone that is them to start chipping off those rough edges. That's the fear. The fear is never reaching your potential. That's it. That always falling short, always quitting before you're done, always procrastinating, always yep. not doing the right thing. And then one day you're an old man Yep. and you look back and go, God, I could have been great. Yep. I could have been great. I never forget one time I was running by a graveyard when I was fucking just trying to become, I was fat. And I ran by a graveyard and I looked out there and I have all these epiphanies, man. I have all these moments of like, of it's crazy, man, of, of this thought. Cause I'm always by myself. I'm always in deep in thought about how to be better. And I look out there, I'm like, man, I wonder how many of you motherfuckers in there are so upset with how you lived your life and fucking just regret how you lived it and I'm running a 300 pound man thinking man don't fucking die like this bro don't die like this so people wonder where this shit comes from from me it, it, it comes from such deep thought of trying to see what this is all about what is this life all about what am I all about why am I here you know I had to I had to find purpose and my suffering it had a purpose it had a fucking purpose Many people build confidence in different ways and they build belief in different ways. Coming from where I came from, I didn't have any belief in myself. So some people can go read a book and get belief. Some people can go take a yoga class, have good parents. So where I came from was so far down underneath soil that I had to build belief by truly ingraining it in my brain. So the things I do, I'm always every day building belief. And my belief had to be where it is because I was so far down. So it may take a 200 mile run for me. It may take a 100 mile run. It may take late nights in the gym. But without belief, you have nothing. And I realized that when I was a young kid, I have no belief. I have to build it. And a five mile run didn't do it. I had to push myself to such extremes because I came from, people judge me by not knowing where I came from. So. Unless you're me and you came from where I came from, I guarantee you wouldn't have made it out. Guarantee it. And I knew that. So my belief comes from going, I had to build it. And that's how I build it, man. I build it by the things I do. I never cared about myself. Never. Never. Ever. Which makes what I do now for people, I understand. Because I care about people. Even though I'm an introvert, I'm an introvert because my fucking life sucked. But what I do for people, I really do. That's why I want to make sure that fucking book and things I do, that's why I don't 
like, why don't you sell shit? Why don't you always, you know, why, why aren't you like promoting this and that? And no, man, no, I care that you understand that I don't want to see you and kill shit. I want to see you better.